two years, the University of Hawaii will be having in-person graduation ceremonies throughout the weekend. Dallas Hontiveros joins us live from Manoa campus with more on what to know. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Gina. How does this cap and gown look? Wait, better yet, how does Dr. Dallas Antiveros sound? I think that sounds pretty awesome. And of course, a lot of students will be having that title throughout the weekend. And what do you think, Lori? Is that a good title to have? Excellent. Yeah? You should go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Thinking about it. This is Lori Furuyama. She's a UH Manoa commencement coordinator. How are you feeling this morning? Excited. Really excited. exciting, yes. huh? Yeah. yeah, so three days celebrating three different classes. Of course, there are going to be some changes that mm -hmm. we're going to be adapting to, like the masks are going to be required. Mm -hmm. Also, lay is going to be welcome. That's great as mm -hmm. well. But as far as, you know, what can we expect and how long the ceremonies are going to be like, is that going to be different too? Yeah, yeah. So we have um, today and tomorrow, we have three ceremonies. Today, this afternoon is the smallest. It's about 470 okay um, with that with fewer students and we re, we cut down the number of speeches I think it'll be about 60 minutes oh wow about an hour okay yeah so sort of the limit throughout the weekend is gonna be two hours max yeah I, I think yeah maybe 90 day. minutes at the most Wow yeah. okay uh, well that's just smaller. good to know because I know a lot of families like to kind of plan before and plan after when it comes to the celebration mm -hmm. of festivities and of course we have our friend Monsi she's a graduate for tomorrow's ceremony and she's just walking down the steps on what the graduates will go through they're going to be getting off their seat taking a picture by themselves they'll be able to remove the mask and they're going to make their way over here but there's also a change that graduates are going to be going through once they reach this point too correct so in the past we used to hand them a diploma cover okay and then they used to take it with them but now these get mailed to the graduates with their diploma okay. and they'll get a diploma scroll instead and this is another photo opportunity they'll have as yes. well yes they'll take a picture with the administrator here Perfect. Now, as far as the lay goes, mm -hmm. there's designated areas where that will be happening. Correct. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. So tonight, we are there. All the graduates are meeting by last name, A through Z, on Ching Field. We have a baseball game going on in Murakami. Otherwise, we'd use that too. But it's it's small enough that we can fit on Ching Field. Tomorrow, with the the bigger ceremonies, and there's no baseball game, so we can spread out a bit more. So A through K will be in Ching Field. L through Z will be in Murakami. Okay, that's good to know. Now, I know it's a first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. There's no more tickets per graduate sort of system, but there are 10,000 seats here at the Stan Sheriff Center, which is just awesome. I love how the staging is all set up, but people can also view from outside if they choose to. Correct. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so we live stream all three ceremonies. So even people that aren't on island can watch it live from their device. Cool. But also in the Murakami Stadium, which is nice, it's open air, 7,000 seats. They can go out to Murakami Stadium on Saturday and watch it from there. Nice. All right. Well, that's great that there's a few options. And Lori, we appreciate your time. I know Thank you. it's been a lot of work for you and your team to really put this all together, yeah. but we made it through. Yes. Back to in-person yes. graduations. Yes. Any last words you want to share with the graduates before you? No, we're leave? just really excited to see everybody back again. Um, they'll be all set. They've gotten their emails and reminders and they have their regalia. So we're just excited to see the, the graduates and their families. Congratulations, Lori. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you. And coming up in the next half hour, we're going to be going over the last minute details on what you need to know when it comes to the in-person graduation ceremonies and also what the future looks like for those new students and for those returning students. So stay with us. That is going to be coming up live in the next half hour. Until then, reporting from the Stan Sheriff Center, Dallas Navarro's K22 News, working for Hawaii. Well, thank you, Dallas. And speaking of Manoa, Mary Knowles' softball team is waking up at 6.30.